busy day today. Lots going on, lots of places to be. Unfortunately, I've spent a large part of it already stuck in traffic, which is not ideal. Uh, but I'm now in the centre of uh, kind of Soho, um, here at the hospital club, to uh, give a talk about data usage in Formula One and motorsport in general. Oh, hang on, I've just walked past the building I'm supposed to be in. talking to the camera for a minute so just ignore me <laughs> uh, wow well, that was cool um, really enjoyed that it was a great audience really interactive they uh, seemed to really engage with what I was saying it was great uh, the company is a, a company I just want to mention them because I think it's great what they're doing they're a company called DAZN uh, it's an app uh, not yet available in the UK um, but in lots of other territories and they're growing at an incredible rate buying up um, the rights to broadcast sporting events. So if you want to watch um, sporting events in places like Japan, Germany, Austria, uh, Canada, I think some, lots of other countries as well, these guys, DAZN, are buying up the rights. So they are the exclusive broadcasters for lots of these sporting events in these places. And you can get it all on your phone, uh, on your, your smart TV, or of course on, on your computer. Um, and it's a kind of, uh, you know, you pay a monthly fee. It's a bit like a Netflix for sporting uh, events, which I think is such a great idea. You pay like a tenner or something a month uh, and you get lots and lots of live sporting events de delivered directly to your phone. Great idea. A company that is, has got some incredible people working for it. People that have um, been at the head of some of the biggest innovations uh, in, in sort of tech startups over the last few years. And it's growing at a rate that's just insane. And uh, I'm a big fan of what they're doing. Um, so keep an eye out for it. Dazone, D-A-Z-N. Check it out if you're if you're in uh, any of those countries I mentioned. Anyway, right now, I am now in a car uh, trying to get across town from Soho uh, to Isleworth uh, to go to Sky Sports to record the F1 report uh, with Rachel Brooks. So really looking forward to that. Great race, of course, at the weekend, so loads to talk about. How long do you think it's going to take to get there? Have you got a. <laughs> um, usually, it would have been an hour journey, but because of the closures and the, what is going on across in the city, I don't know. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh, right. Traffic, 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 man. Traffic everywhere. But I've made it to Sky Sports, uh, luckily with plenty of time. So now we're going to go and talk Chinese Grand Prix with me, Rachel Brooks, and Dan Tictum, uh, who is the current Autosport uh, Award holder, champion, uh, and uh, Macau winner from late last year. So looking forward to this one. Finish. 
studio this enormous great big studio it's uh, so much better than where we were last year as i said before lots to talk about daniel ricardo what a ledge um is max verstappen in trouble does he need to change anything um did ferrari mercedes get it wrong this week um was it just fortuitous about that safety car did the safety car come out at the right time so many questions that's not formula one So that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. Don't miss it, 8.30 Wednesday evening and after that on the Sky Sports F1 website. Can, isn't it, Rach? How'd it go? It's good, didn't it? It was good, yeah. It was, it was good. All right. I mean, you could have been better, to be fair. Well, but, you know. That's true of every show <laughs> we ever do. Uh, Dan Tickton was a guest today. Um, really good. F3 really driver. Really good. He was really good. Current, yeah. current Macau champion as well. And current sim driver for Red Bull, which is yeah. interesting. So he came from the simulator at Red Bull this morning straight here to Sky to do our show. So he's right on the button, right on the pace when it comes to what Red Bull are up to. So Tune in. What time's the show tonight, Rach? 8.30. Uh, that's Wednesday evening. You'll have probably already missed it by the time this video goes up. But <laughs> that's, well done. after it's that... Repeat. Thanks for opening the door. <laughs> <laughs> after that, you can see it on the Sky Sports F1 website. Yes. Um, so and it's on catch-up. And on catch-up. So definitely check it out. Uh, I'll see you in... Luke Nairport. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that is it uh, for actual work commitments today. Now off home to take the dog for a walk and enjoy the last couple of hours of that.